All right, guys. I uh, want to do an after-use review on this uh, Kershaw Volt 2. Um, not all that pleased with it, really, and and I'll explain that as I go on here. And I'm sorry, I'm just grabbing a piece of paper. I just want to see how well it's stayed sharp. It's been through the normal everyday tasks that you'd ask a knife to do. Nothing. Ex uh, Nothing extreme or anything like that, but I just got a little bit. To, I'm just a little bit disappointed with this knife. Um, and here's the reason why. When I originally got this, it was centered. I don't know why it's going to appear, but it was actually centered fairly well. And as I used it, doing light stuff like opening up uh, boxes and breaking down just a couple of light cardboard boxes. It, it it actually went all the way over and was actually rubbing on the fr on the fr uh, frame lock or, or yeah the frame or the liner lock there we go liner lock you can see it's almost touching right now if I tighten this uh, pivot screw any any more I can't get this knife open to save my life it will not flick open I mean right now it's really really slow it's because I actually tightened this down as far as I could before the assisted opening stopped. I mean, it's just a little disappointing. I don't know why it wore that way, but hey, it's disappointing. And I don't know what to do about it. Um, I don't know if I want to send it into to Crush out to have them take a look at it, see if I can get something, see if they can get it aligned better. I don't know. I mean, I, I've, I shouldn't say I haven't, I have sharpened this knife, uh, or I, I should say stropped it. Since I got it, you know, it is the 8 CR13 MOV steel. So, we'll see if it's kept its edge. I haven't used this for a few days. And it's kept its edge fairly well and took the stropping fairly well. I can cut through this stuff fairly easily. Not the greatest, but hey, I just want to give you my honest opinion of it. I mean, it's still sharp, as you can see. Not overly sharp, but still sharp enough. I doubt I can actually shave any arm here. I'd be really kind of shocked if I could. Not really. Took a few pieces off, but not sharp enough to shave with, that's for sure. So, I mean, that's that's my main reason why I'm disappointed with it. It is comfortable. It does have its its pluses. You know, the jimping on the blade I really like. The way it fits in my hand, I really like the way it fits in my hand. Uh, pocket clip's cool. Um, had no issues with that, even though it's only held on by two screws. Uh, the jimping back here in the in the channel, pointless, stupid. No reason for it to be there, except to cause a little bit of extra wear and tear, like on your pants or something like that. Frame lock still holding strong. Not frame lock. Liner lock still holding strong. No problems there. No left to right play. No up or down play, which is what you'd expect after my couple weeks of using this. But I want to point that out as you can see the axe, the uh, axis lock. Jeez, I'm getting it all conf uh, confused today. The assisted opening, speed safe. Has slowed down because I had to tighten that screw just so it wasn't completely and totally running on this liner and really slowing it down. But that's that's my opinions on it. I like everything about it except that something went wrong. I think when I've had it and it caused it to. And I'll show it to you there. Caused it to. I'll zoom in actually. Hopefully that'll show up better for you here. Let's see, cause it to go out of center. You know, I don't have any other knives that are like that that you know that have gone that bad in just a couple weeks of use. I don't know why I did it. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>